you tired of being an average controller player? Say less because today I'm bringing you guys five advanced controller tips that will literally turn you from an average controller player to insane. In this video, you're going to watch a high kill 20 bomb that I got while playing solos. And throughout the video, I'm going to give you guys advanced tips that controller pros do not want you to know. So make sure you watch this to the very end. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. It's free and you can change your mind at any time. Oh, shit. The hell? From the top rope. Swanton Bob. Boom! So one of my biggest tips that I would give any controller player is that in order to get better, you have to step out of your comfort zone, guys. You need to start pushing as many players as possible and being as aggressive as possible because in the end, that is the main thing that's going to improve you in overall skill, fighting ability, awareness, and more. You have to be aggressive if you want to really take your game to the next level. Tina, thank you so much, girl, for the raid. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that a lot. Why am I like, why, what is my frames? Tip number two, what you need to be focusing on as a controller player is positioning. Now, as you can see, I see this kid and I take note of everything in the room and I actually hide behind that little blind. As a controller player, you need to analyze who you're facing and try to decipher if you're fighting a keyboard player or another controller player. If you're fighting a keyboard player, your best option is to not box fight because they have scroll wheel reset and all better mechanics for box fights. Your best bet is to try to build fight them and maintain high ground. Or if they really want to fight you, pull out your SMG and do not stop spraying. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Come on, bro. No, you're so good, bro, right? You're so good. Take the boom battle with me, and you had the HP advantage. Oh! 238 meters! Oh, oh my god! That was crazy. Wow. I just killed someone from 238 meters away while seeing the ABCs. So it's like, they kind of plan themselves. Where is this kid? Hello? Oh, he's right there. W's. Well, 15 bomb. Oh my god, Sage with the tier one gifted. Thank you, Sage. Oh my god, Myron with the five gifted. This is what I'm talking about, TikTok. This is what you guys are missing over here on the Switch, man. Bro. What is going on, bro? Uh oh. Brother. 
My God, bro. What is going on? What is this game? Scooby with the 10 gifted. Wait, do I have to put on a maid costume? I'm so oh, no. No shot. No shot. I have to put on a maid costume, right? There's no way. I just lost aim assist. Did you guys see that? I just lost aim assist. For tip number three, you need to be practicing your aim every single day. A lot of people get the misconception that if you play on controller, you automatically have aim by, and that's far from the truth. If you play on controller, you know it takes hours and hours of dedication to really perfect your aim and get that smooth, crisp aim by feeling that we all want so desperately. For tip number four is probably one of my biggest tips is choose a setting and stick to it. A lot of you guys switch your controller settings every day or every week or even every month. And that is just ridiculous. You are never going to get better if you keep switching your setting because your brain has to readapt to that play style and learn how to play again. So one of my biggest tips is find a setting that you truly enjoy and never change it and watch how exponential you grow as a controller player. But where is this kid? Chat, where is this guy, man? Hello? Mom, dad? Where is this guy, bro? Let's go, chat! Let's go! 23 kill solo win, baby! And we hit 800 subs on Twitch. Oh my god, man. Oh my freaking God. And for tip number five is gonna be play the game more. Now I know this may sound cliche, but I'm serious. Play any tournament you can, any zone war, any token. 1v1 people on Twitch, it literally does not matter. But make sure you are playing with the intent of getting good. Make sure you're not just playing to play and playing because you're bored. If you're serious about becoming a pro controller player or just improving in general, you have to take this craft serious just like anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the controller settings you guys wanna be using if you wanna have top tier aim just like me in the brand new chapter four season two. I play on five five dead zone, 12-12, 12 ADS, low horizontal, and vertical speed. I also play on 43 43 for both my horizontal and vertical, as well as 2.2 by 2.2 build and edit mode multiplier. Now, who knows? I might switch these settings up during the season, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And moving on over here to my binds, here we have the binds. And guys, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're going to be daily uploading every single day in the new chapter. And I'm also live right now on Twitch. If you guys want to come through and support your boy, it would really mean the world to me. I'm going to be doing a 12 hour stream today with the new season. These are the new settings, guys. Enjoy so much.